Hello everybody and welcome back. We are at the old house. Today we'll be doing a nice exclusive little walkthrough tour of my new home. But first guys, I decided why not show you a nice little 30 second montage because this house has got a lot of great memories. Don't go anywhere because we're just getting started. Hello MTV and welcome to my shithole of a house. Mind your motherfucking business, ain't nothing you gotta see. How you all up in my shit when you got more problems than me? Yeah, I'm cool, but you don't wanna see that other side of me. And my niggas mobbing depot, I'm a fucking prodigy. I know, I know that you been envy, bitch. It ain't that hard to see. Don't you dare go fix your mouth to tell me that you proud of me. Ain't no choice to me, but loyalty still means a lot to me. Some niggas that go chop my arm right off and still reach out to me. I know you probably you want that. Hey guys, all right, so we're gonna start here in my room. We're in my bedroom. This is the master room. So come on, come on, take a look. This is where uh, the action goes down. Oh, and that's how my parents woke me up when I was a kid. Yeah, the wardrobe. I don't really own a lot of clothes, so. I mean, I've got probably more shoes, but. I bought these off a sponsored Instagram ad, so to whoever has that company, congratulations. I probably got ripped. Thanks, look, there you are. That's you. Damn, son. Oh, I'd call it the reading zone. Uh, we got how to adult. We come to the bathroom, it's a little bit messy. This be where I clean. This be where I clean myself. We've got a nice big skylight, which is pretty fucking cool. I like it. A lot of natural lighting comes in here, which is great for filming, obviously. The neighbor sent over a gift. He uh, lives next door. Absolute legend. It's good when you know you've at least got some good neighbors. Instead of walking through all the bedrooms, I might just show you the bedroom, so. And there you go, that's most of the bedrooms. Here's my other friend's room, who I think has been here for an hour since we moved in. His room literally smells of shit. I don't want to be in here. This is the theater room. Marty asked me a good question. He's like, do you think people in America just have random Australian flags? <laughs> As a lot of you guys might have saw, we made a secret cinema at my other house with the fridge door. We're going to move everything of that over here. Cinema screen will go there, the sound system, whatnot. The office. A bit of a cheap office at the moment. We've only been here for a little while. We just threw some shit in here and got started. Always hungry. Always hungry. Humble. Lockie bought it, he saw it <laughs> up for sale at a garage sale. <laughs> Come on in here. Uh, this is the bathroom Lockie uses for some reason. He likes to walk to the other end of the house. Come on through to the to the women's room. I mean, uh, the laundry where, where men and women will use. I was just joking, guys. <laughs> this is just the starting of the gym. We have made a slow start. But yeah, this is just the beginning of the gym. We've got more than enough. We've got the cable machine, chin-up bars, all the other shit. If you guys saw the video the other day, um, you would have seen the car doing a burnout. I haven't quite over painted, painted over it just yet, but I really love the driveway space out here. We can fit like 20 cars. Now this is the guest house. There's two bedrooms, a living room and a kitchen. It's an absolute pigsty at the moment. So we won't go in there just yet. Ah, you know what? We'll go and have a little look. It's very trashy right now, guys. When we unloaded the trucks, I mean, we just stuffed pretty much everything in here and we 
haven't gotten around to cleaning it out yet. So yeah, this will be a podcast studio. We've got a kitchen around there. I'll put couches through here. So if anyone wants to watch, I've got two bedrooms and a bathroom and wardrobes through there. Will be a Twitch streaming room for gaming and maybe we'll make a little adult playroom where no cameras are allowed. Maybe like a little sex dungeon or something. So that could be nice <laughs> if you're overage, of course. The people that we bought the house off did a huge renovation here. There actually used to be a pool that was in the middle of this house. I will show you a photo. It actually looked really fucking cool. The kitchen looks lovely. The kitchen looks really good. Well, the whole barbecue area, we've been using it a lot. It's been great. It's been great. We haven't even really cooked on the stove. We've just been using the barbecue. Um, we don't have any pans. Yeah, I know, I know. There's literally just so much room for activities. I am so fucking happy with this place. All the neighbors seem great. It's a nice quiet area. There's cameras on the entrance down on the roundabout. There's cameras through the whole neighborhood. So you think we'd be pretty safe out here, I'd hope, but we've never had issues. Come on over to my favorite part of the house. There is a wood fire oven, which I thought was super fucking cool. We're probably gonna have a night where we all get absolutely stoned out of our minds and make wood fire pizzas and eat some s'mores. When I mean stoned, I mean like stone fire, not like, not weed. It's just ridiculous. Don't ever do that. Sorry. We got a fridge, we got couches, we got cocktail maker. Also guys, I'm gonna start throwing crazy parties here. Just so you know, once every few months, just so I don't piss off the neighbors too much. We're two weeks overdue to have the lawns mowed, so hopefully we sort out the grass. But it still looks good. It still looks good. Yeah, I can't wait to fuck on here. <laughs> just a lot more space that we probably don't even need, but we'll use it for something. Oh, you stupid kid. I didn't know that was gonna slip. Oh. Dude, that would have been so funny if you fell. Um, we've spent some time here already and we've been loving it. We've had quite a bit of media and news reporters and stuff in here. The other day we did like a little sit down interview. In this position, I don't want to just take, take, take. I want to be able to give back to my family who have given so much to me. Look after them. They don't have to pay rent. They can save a few hundred bucks a week living in my old house and I'll sell it in the future when they're in a good position, so. That was always my goal, was just to help my family, really. Like, if I could make enough money, help retire my parents a bit younger, and... Oh, that's very nice. Uh, she was a lovely lady. It's nice to see some journalists and media that are pretty cool, and they're not just focused on trying to ruin people's images and names, and actually like to make a cool story. So, shout out to the lady from the Gold Coast Bulletin. I'm gonna move all the furniture across, eventually, and get a sick boxing ring slash wrestling ring in the middle. We'll raise the chandeliers up and everything. I'm gonna put on a little wrestling event inside the middle of the house. I think it'd be fucking awesome. I'm back, baby. Let me tell you guys, I'm back. I haven't had this kind of motivation and energy and excitement to make videos and be creative and do some crazy shit. I'm gonna be throwing some parties here and there, small events. I'm gonna invite fans, followers, supporters to just come get amongst some stuff as long as you're cool people. Um, nice people, not cool. Yeah, I mean, cool and nice. We want both. So yeah, guys, as I've said, massive thank you to everybody that watches me. It does mean a lot to me. I'm very appreciative. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just figured, you know what? I may as well do an extended video. I want to show everybody a bit more in detail and show you guys what's going on inside. Thanks for joining me. And Harry, you can fuck off. You are fired. Fuck off. I love you all. Everyone watching, I love you all. Harry, fuck off. Sorry. See you next time. See you next time, everybody. Cool. Just like my mom with a couple of volume inside a palm It's Mr. Mischief with a trick up his sleeve They're my pet fish Bill, Barry, Hulk, Tom, Martha, Diane, Roberto, David and Don